Hey yo, sound boy. Pump up the amplitude this time. I gotta say it real quick. My cat's on the track. Yeah, yeah. One, two. Okay. Hand it. She reminds me of a lot of people. Everything who she got. Papa, not you see, bo. She got me wild enough. One, one, do that. Kukuda kwang kwa tanga. There's no tapping out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mufaruma Zodze. Today's video is how to do your own crochet faux locks using a safety pin. Now the long story short to the reason why I used a safety pin is because I searched high and low for a crochet needle but I could not find one in anywhere in Cape Town guys. Hey guys, so as you can see the dread that I used is called the Durban Dread and each packet has about has got two bundles of hair each bundle has got 12 or rather 24 single dreads i bought two packets but i actually only used one and a half packets because i didn't want the hair to be too bulky and heavy so the method that i used obviously crochet um, you first cornrow your hair and then you insert the braids on top of the cornrowed hair so I grab a single braid and then I open my safety pin and I put my braid inside the safety pin and then I close the safety pin after this, I literally just insert it underneath my hair, my cornrowed hair, and then I pull it out, leaving like a small loop of hair. I then remove my safety pin, and it's a bit tricky, but <laughs> it eventually comes out. You, As you do more, you get... You find an easier way of removing that safety pin and I did grab one end of the braid and I pull to make a knot it's pretty easy guys and then I just repeat that obviously like at the starting point all over the front line of my hair my cornrows are not the neatest so if you can get someone to do your cornrows for you that would be really great so that um, your crochet faux locks can actually last longer so i repeat the process hey you didn't catch that i'm just going to repeat that so you can see it again underneath your cornrow pull it out Pull out your crochet faux lock, <clears throat> leave a small loop, take out your safety pin. This time it was a bit easier. Take, grab the one end of the crochet faux lock, insert it inside the loop, and pull. Make a nice knot. Now, what I noticed here, guys, sometimes because of the pulling, the braids um, end up not being the same size in length as I've just demonstrated. So I unravel my knot and then I pull it again, this time making sure that I'm not pulling one of the faux locks and making one of them longer than the other one. But I eventually cut my faux lock, so it actually didn't really matter because I found them too long. So you also find a easy way of pulling that doesn't leave them. And as you can see, they now they're the same length. So, so far, 
I've done just the front line and I don't know how it's looking but it's definitely looking like locks you know um, at the ends it looks like I might have to dip them in hot water and then cut some of the ones that came out too long this is because of not pulling them correctly I might cut them overly because i feel like they're a bit too long next i'm gonna continue doing what i was doing but i'm gonna try and place the braids in random places so that they don't go in a straight line like if i put another one here i might put another one here and then another one there like you know just to sort of balance it out because um 10 for the these are so far i used 10 this is actually now 20 braids just here on the front line i think that's a bit too much so i'm gonna try and even it out i think i only want about 60 to 70 of them on my head so that it's not too much hey guys so i'm done with the full head now and my word they are heavy because like every time you grab one braid you're actually putting in two braids so i have scissors i'm ready to chop some to chop them because i think the length is making them too long so i think i want them a bit like here so i've got like a lot to chop off i hope that makes them a little less heavy and chunky well i don't think i can do anything about the chunkiness but i think i'm gonna dip them in hot water because when i dipped one of them in hot water i think it just makes them the braids like marry each other more which is better because then they won't stick to each other a lot and they won't um unravel but they're quite strong because one of the things i was scared about crochet faux locks is them um pretty much unraveling on you so without wasting time i'm gonna start chopping those these braids guys because I, I i cannot be about the life of like having such long 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 hair let me know what you think of these crochet faux locks in the comment section below drop a like if you like this video and do forget don't forget to click the subscribe button we're on the road to 1k so yeah thank you for watching i love you for watching always bye Hello guys, it goes by luck, but the, I use the. <laughs> this landing, let's start over because I think I also shaked the camera yeah. in Cape Town, guys. So uh, that was a bit of lightning, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, mommy. <laughs> oh, mommy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>